Have you ever wondered how some of the world's most successful food empires came to be? How did they start? And what challenges did they overcome? Well, you're in for a treat today because we've got an appetizing lineup of eight entrepreneurs who built food empires from humble beginnings to global domination. These individuals have left an indelible mark on the culinary world. So grab a snack, settle in, and get ready to be inspired by their remarkable stories. Colonel Harlan Sanders, Key FC. Let's dive deeper into the story of Colonel Harlan Sanders, the man behind Kentucky Fried Chicken, or Key FC, as we know it today. Imagine this. It's 1952, and Colonel Sanders is crisscrossing the country, knocking on restaurant doors with a secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices. He faced rejection after rejection. But here's the twist. Harlan Sanders was no spring chicken. He was 65 years old. What kept him going? What turned this persistent Kentucky gentleman into an iconic figure in the world of fast food? It wasn't just his finger-licking good chicken. It was his unwavering determination and a dash of innovation. Colonel Sanders believed in his recipe, and he wasn't afraid to adapt. He started franchising KFC restaurants, introducing the world to the concept of a uniform taste no matter where you were. It was a game changer. By the time he sold KFC, there were over 600 franchises across the United States. But the story doesn't end there. KFC continued to grow globally with thousands of outlets worldwide, all thanks to the legacy of one man with a simple recipe and an unyielding spirit. Ray Kroc McDonald. Now, let's dive into the fascinating tale of Ray Kroc and the creation of the McDonald's empire. It's 1954, and Ray Kroc, a struggling milkshake machine salesman, stumbles upon a small San Bernardino burger joint run by the McDonald brothers. He was blown away by their innovative speed service system and their delicious, consistent hamburgers. So here's the burning question. How did Ray Kroc turn a single burger stand into the global phenomenon we know as McDonald's today? Ray had a vision, a vision of making McDonald's a household name. He convinced the McDonald brothers to let him franchise their concept and together, they laid the foundation of the fast food empire. The key ingredient to their success, standardization. Ray Kroc insisted on consistent quality and taste in every McDonald's restaurant, from California to New York. He introduced the iconic Golden Arches, a symbol recognized worldwide. The introduction of the Big Mac, Happy Meals, and the drive through revolutionized the fast food industry. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Ray faced numerous challenges along the way. However, his unwavering commitment and innovation led to the incredible growth of McDonald's. Today, McDonald's has over 38,000 locations in more than 100 countries, serving billions of customers annually. Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield Ben & Jerry's Now, let's delve into the delectable world of Ben & Jerry's, where ice cream meets activism. Two childhood friends Ben Cohen and Jerry Greenfield start an ice cream business in a renovated gas station in Burlington, Vermont, with no prior experience in making ice cream. What could possibly go wrong, right? Well, as it turns out, everything went right. Ben & Jerry's became famous not only for its unique and innovative ice cream flavors, but also for its commitment to social and environmental issues. Ben & Jerry's wasn't just about scoops and cones. It was about making a difference. They sourced ingredients locally and partnered with various community organizations. Their peace, love, and ice cream philosophy resonated with customers who appreciated a brand that stood for something more. And let's not forget those legendary flavors like Cherry Garcia and Fish Food, which captured the hearts and taste buds of ice cream lovers everywhere. Despite initial challenges and growing pains, Ben J. Jerry's continued to expand, becoming a global sensation and a model for socially responsible business practices. In 2000, it was acquired by Unilever, but the brand's commitment to activism remained strong. Howard Schultz Starbucks Now, let's take a deep dive into the aromatic and coffee-filled world of Starbucks, courtesy of the visionary entrepreneur, Howard Schultz. It's the early 1980s and Starbucks is just a small coffee retailer in Seattle, selling coffee beans and equipment. But Howard Schultz, 
a former employee of the company, had a vision. He wanted to transform Starbucks into a place where people could savor the experience of freshly brewed coffee. The question that intrigues us is, how did Howard Schultz turn a simple coffee shop into a global coffee house phenomenon? Schultz was inspired by the coffee culture he discovered during a trip to Italy, and he saw the potential to create a similar experience in the United States. He convinced Starbucks founders to let him experiment with selling brewed coffee and creating a warm, welcoming atmosphere in their store. The introduction of espresso beverages, frappuccinos, and cozy, inviting interiors revolutionized the coffee industry. Starbucks became more than just a place to grab a cup of coffee. It became a gathering place for communities worldwide. Through ups and downs, including the economic downturns of the 2000s, Schultz's leadership and innovative ideas helped Starbucks not only survive but thrive. The company expanded globally, with thousands of stores in more than 80 countries. Stay tuned for more savory stories of food empire builders. Tom Monaghan Domino's Pizza now, let's take a cheesy detour into the world of pizza and learn about Tom Monaghan, the visionary behind Domino's Pizza. It's 1960, and Tom Monaghan and his brother James purchase a small pizzeria called Dominic's in Ypsilanti, Michigan, for just $500. But here's the twist. James soon traded his half of the business for a used Volkswagen Beetle, leaving Tom as the sole owner of the pizzeria. Now. How did Tom Monaghan turn this small pizzeria into a global pizza delivery empire known for its iconic promise of 30 minutes or less? Tom was determined to streamline the pizza delivery process and make it as efficient as possible. He introduced innovative practices like standardized pizza recipes, delivery uniforms, and the iconic red, white, and blue logo that we all recognize today. The introduction of the 30-minute guarantee, while no longer in place due to safety concerns, revolutionized pizza delivery by emphasizing speed and efficiency. It turned Domino's into a household name. Despite challenges and controversies, including lawsuits related to the 30-minute guarantee, Tom Monaghan's dedication and commitment to quality pizza propelled Domino's to new heights. Today, Domino's Pizza has thousands of stores worldwide, and it continues to innovate with online ordering and technology-driven delivery services. Glen Bell Taco Bell Now, let's head south of the border and dive into the flavorful world of Taco Bell, thanks to its founder, Glen Bell. It's 1962, and Glen Bell opens a modest taco stand called Taco Tia in Downey, California. Glenn's vision was to introduce Mexican-inspired cuisine to the American fast-food scene. But how did he transform a simple taco stand into the beloved Taco Bell empire? Glenn Bell was a pioneer in recognizing the potential of fast-food Mexican cuisine. He saw the appeal of tacos, burritos, and nachos for American tastes and began experimenting with menu items that combined familiar ingredients with a south-of-the-border twist. The introduction of the crunchy taco and the signature seasoned beef brought a unique and accessible flavor to the masses. Taco Bell's affordability and convenience quickly made it a hit. As Glenn expanded his brand, he also introduced drive through services, further revolutionizing the fast food industry. This innovation allowed customers to enjoy their tacos without leaving their cars, setting a trend that other fast food chains would soon adopt. Today, Taco Bell has become an American icon, known for its creative menu items and its role in popularizing Mexican-inspired fast food. Annie Chun, Annie Chun's Gourmet Foods Now, let's venture into the realm of Asian-inspired cuisine and discover the story of Annie Chun, the entrepreneur behind Annie Chun's Gourmet Foods. Annie Chun, originally from South Korea, moved to the United States with dreams of introducing the flavors of Asia to a Western audience. But how did she turn her passion for Asian cuisine into a thriving gourmet food empire? Annie began her journey by selling homemade Asian sauces and noodles at local farmers markets in California. Her commitment to using high quality ingredients and traditional Asian recipes set her products apart. As the demand for her products grew, 
Annie Chin's Gourmet Foods expanded its product line to include a wide range of Asian-inspired dishes, from noodle bowls to seaweed snacks. Annie's dedication to authenticity and convenience made her brand a favorite among those seeking Asian flavors with ease. Today, Annie Chun's gourmet foods can be found in grocery stores across the nation, making Asian-inspired cuisine accessible to all. John McKee Whole Foods Market Now, let's dive into the world of organic and natural foods with the co-founder of Whole Foods Market, John McKee. It's the late 1970s, and John McKee and his then-girlfriend Renee Lawson Hardy opened a small natural food store called Safer Way in Austin. Texas. How did this humble store evolve into the global phenomenon known as Whole Foods Market? John McKee's vision was clear, to provide customers with a wide selection of healthy, natural, and organic product in a welcoming and vibrant shopping environment. He believed that food could be a force for good in people's lives and in the world. The fusion of healthy, organic products and a commitment to sustainability made Whole Foods Market stand out. The company introduced the concept of whole paycheck, but John and his team continued to innovate, making organic and natural foods more accessible and affordable. Whole Foods Market also embraced local sourcing, supporting small producers, and creating a community of like-minded food enthusiasts. Despite facing challenges and competition, John McKee's dedication to his mission paid off. Whole Foods Market became a household name, and its impact on the way we shop for groceries and view healthy eating cannot be overstated. And there you have it, folks, eight entrepreneurs who built food empires. From fried chicken to coffee, ice cream to pizza, these visionary leaders not only satisfied our cravings but also changed the way we eat. So, which food empire story inspired you the most? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.